Lithium mineralogy, that's the subject of our discussion today. Hi, I'm Todd Houlihan, the Director of International Mining at Evidence Scientific, and with me is Lot Koopmans, PhD candidate at the University of Oxford in the UK. Hi, Lot. Hi, Todd. Thanks for the introduction. No problems. How are you doing? Not bad, not bad. So you introduce yourself and describe the work that you're doing? Sure, yeah. So as you mentioned, I'm currently doing a PhD based in the University of Oxford. And what I study is the origin and improving our excavation methods for lithium deposits and prim- primarily hard rock lithium deposits. Okay. And you've been, you've done a lot of work with lithium explorers and miners. What can you tell us about yeah. the work that you've done without divulging any confidential information? Sure. Yeah. So I've worked with quite a few companies all around the world now. And from any stage, from really early greenfield stage through to people who are just about to start producing. And what I've noticed quite a bit is that, especially on the early stages, people are still struggling a little bit with fully comprehending exactly what they have in their deposit. And I think this is a bit of growing pain as the as this part of the industry grows. And so that's what I've been trying to help different companies with, is better understanding what they've got and how to explore for more in their areas. And why is understanding lithium mineralogy so important? Yeah, it's a really good point. Unlike gold or other base metals, your mineralogy fundamentally dictates how easy it is to process your lithium deposit. And so something that could be a deposit of 100 million tons at 1% in one area and the exact same tonnage in another area might fundamentally be of completely different values. So for example, a good example is there's two main lithium, what are called aluminosilicates, so spodumene and petalate. Spodumene is valued far higher because it's much easier to process. And therefore, you can have the same tonnage and grades, but one being worth quite a bit more. So really, it is really important from both the investment side and from the mining side to really understand what your mineralogy is. And uh, maybe you can describe some of the work that we've been doing together. Um without divulging necessarily how we're doing it. But to- sure. I think part of that is is it's, is it, or the difficulty with pegmatite is other than maybe lapidolite, which has this nice purple color in most cases, the minerals are all white. And so unless you really um, are confident in what you're looking at, it's very hard to identify the mineralogy in different deposits. And once you get your eye in once, it's very easy to then continue, but it's that first identification that's key. And so what we've been doing together is we've tried to use portable XRF to identify mineralogy based on their unique chemistries. And as it's been going pretty well, I think you'd be, you agree? Yeah, we've done a few, we've done a few tests on some, some specimens in the lab and some real specimens from different mines around the world. And we've been getting really good accuracy. So it's proving to be really quite promising to, to really help out this identification in the field. And have you seen the industry still really focused on perhaps using other technologies to give a lithium number that doesn't help them obviously understand the mineralogy of the deposit? Yeah, I think especially with a handheld device, unless you do a whole bunch of preparatory steps in advance to homogenize your sample, do all the matrix corrections, a lithium value from just a field gun can be a bit spotty as to how representative it is of what you really have. And so one of the values with the portable XRF is that it's a very reliable technique for identifying the chemistry and therefore we can use that to identify our mineralogy. And you can even identify lithium minerals without calculating a lithium concentration. Yeah. So we're going to be showing this around at a few different events and producing some information. So I'd suggest if anyone wants more information, they can connect with us or connect with you. Absolutely, yeah. Always welcome to talk to other miners. Brilliant. Okay. Thanks very much.